Hello, and welcome back to Fireflink Tutorials. This video will guide you through the process of mediating API calls using Fireflink. To get started, you have the option to create a new automation project of the web services type. As a different alternative, it's worth noting that regardless of your script type, whether it's web, mobile, or Salesforce, you'll have the opportunity to test and automate API calls. Here, we're using an automation project of web and mobile type that already has some scripts. We're focusing on a test scenario where we verify the login process of a registered user on the Shopper Stack e-commerce website. Take note of the Web Services tab located within the script. To start building API requests, click on the Web Services tab. Start by entering the request name. We will call this API request Shopper Login. Choose the desired method using the dropdown, which in this case is post. Now, enter the request URL, which includes the base URL, along with endpoints. Users are provided with the flexibility to define the request body, configure query parameters, set request headers, establish authorizations, define prerequisites, specify assertions, or capture data from the response body. Given that we are using a POST method, a request body is necessary. Select the body type as raw from the body type dropdown, and choose the content type as JSON from the content type dropdown. Then, provide the appropriate body. After entering the required details, click on the Send button, and the response will be generated. You can also check the response body to view the response in JSON format. Now, let's explore a unique feature in Fireflink that allows API automation with just a single click. To automate the manually sent API request, simply click on the Save as Step button. A pop-up named Save API Request Step will appear. Complete the required fields and click Save. This will save the manual API request as an API automation step. A success banner will confirm the addition of the API automation step to the current automation script. Upon script execution, the API automation step will also be executed. To observe this process, run the script and observe the automation unfolding. To sum up, we have demonstrated manual testing of API calls and introduced a unique approach for automating API requests within Fireflink. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, please visit www.fireflink.com and schedule a free demo today.